Good day, y'all, and welcome back to Pro Cycling Matter 2019 for episode 32, final episode of season one of Bahrain McLaren. Um, after the uh, Guangzhou Tour, in which we we did well, we did well. If you want to see that, that was the previous episode. Uh, but this marks, as I said, the end of season one, which therefore means uh, season recap and transfers. So, the fitness peak for Garcia Cortina. That's cute. That's very cute. Uh, first of all. Let's take a look at our results this year, and uh, yeah, see basically what we did and what we did wrong. All right, we'll start with Yuki Arashiro. He's done shit. But I mean, I expected it. He's 36 years old. Uh, is he staying with us? He is. He is. All right. So next uh, next year we'll have the chance to do the Japanese the Japanese championship once again. Uh, next up, Enrico Batalen. Useless. Great. Next year he's joining Ineos, I believe. Interesting signing from them. But why not? Filba House, many top 10s, a podium, no wins uh, with us next year. Although, I'll have to be honest, uh, I mainly used him in stages where Mark Cavendish was, and I sprinted with Mark Cavendish more than Filba House. So, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Pierre Bilbao, 24th of the Tour de France, 16th of the Giro, a stage win, uh, national champion of Spain. A very, very good season overall for uh, the 30 year olds, which I think we've resigned. Uh, we haven't, but I mean, he's still there next year. That's, quite, that's a great, very good season from Pierre Bilbao. We move to Grega Bolle, uh, a win on the final stage of the UAE Tour. And that's about it. Tenth play, uh, ninth place on Milan San Romero. He is still with us next year. He has lost a lot of stats though. Like, everything went down. Quite sad, but it was to be expected. Santiago Buitrago, only one win, I think. Yep, the uh, National Championships of Colombia. He's joining Orguru Paisa for next year. He didn't capitalize on his win. Uh, no progression. Oh, actually, he did progress. Wait, what was his original start in, in Colombia? He was 66, he's not 68. Okay, great. Well, let's wish him the best in, uh, in Orguru Paisa. Uh, as we now have Eros Capecchi, which we have still for next year. No wins once again from him. Third place on the Vuelta Aragon. Sixth on the Circuit de la Sarthe, somehow. Okay. Damien Caruso, the main man, the legend on this on this is Giro. Third place, two wins, the point classification, a huge amount of top 10s. 11th on Tirreno, a win, the Tour de Suisse, four stages on cette Tour de Suisse, Flèche Wallon, Boucle de Lone, second on the Mont Ventoux behind Mikel Landa. Absolutely monster of a season from Damiano Caruso which we had to resign because he was just too good we then move to Mark Cavendish obviously end of his career for him only one win on the Adria, uh, Adriatica Unitsa race fourth of the national championships second in Hamburg we nearly got that win sixth on Milan San Remo podiums on the Tour de France yeah he was finished he, he was finished I'm, I'm sad I'm sad but that's just the the reality of it. Um, we'll wish him well in uh, his uh, future adventures. As we now move to Sonny called Brelli. Uh, any progression? Nope, absolutely nothing. F uh, three wins on the Giro, uh, two stages on its Fulia Basque Country, four stages in the GC on the Greek Tour of Guanji, Dvars of Landeren, three stages on the Croatian race and the Prudential Wide London. Uh, the end of the season really, really did well for uh, for Cold Rally with um, Gangji, uh, Guangji sorry, and the Croatian race. Because otherwise it would have been a, a good season of... Wait, fourth of Parobé? No, 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 no. Something's wrong with this Parobé. I don't think... I can't remember who won. We'll take a look at that after. Uh, but we then move to Scott Davis. Um, nothing next year. He's with us. Cheers. Chun Kai Feng, which we obviously re-signed because he's a king. No progression whatsoever, but it's fine. Uh, I know some of you like... Wait. Oh, he has nothing. Not even a top 20. Oh, mad. Okay. We'll have to change that for next year. I know some of you wanted me to, like, make a, a precyclist save with him. No. No, I won't. I just will not do that. Garcia Cortina. Nominated for the uh, Cyclist Award of the Year. Or Sinai Trophy. Podium on the Tour de France. Three stages on the Vuelta. Fifth of the World Championship. Maybe 13th of Paolo Ben, I don't know. Tour Down Under, without a win, interesting. Two stages on the Dauphiné, Quebec, Strade Bianche, fourth in Montréal, second in San Sebastian, sixth on the Game, fifth on the Trois Bing Bank. 
not a great season. Very, very good season from Ivan Garza Cortina. Uh, extremely happy to have him in the team because he's a rider I genuinely enjoy. As we now move to Marco Halla, which we nearly didn't resign until that day. A win on the Classica San Sebastian. I don't know if it's worth 20 grand a month, but you wanted me to sign him again. So I had to do it. Wait, he, he wrote for Movistar? Mad. I didn't know that. Uh, but yeah, eighth in Quebec, eighth in London. I think he was injured during the Cobble Classic at one point. Uh, maybe he just wasn't feeling good. Uh, I'm expecting big things from Marco Halle next year. Otherwise, I will be regretting giving him a contract like this. Heinrich Hausler, who will leave us to join NTT next season. 19th of the Down Under with a stage win. Championship of Australia. And that's it. And someone somehow picked him as a captain in YouTube Pro Cycling. <laughs> How? Kevin Inkola, which is joining Metec next season. Best climber on the Tour of the Alps. A top 10 on the Great Tour of Guangxi. And that's basically it for the former prospect of FDJ. We'll wish him well. Uh, as we now move to the winner of the Vuelta a España. And second of the Tour de France, Mikel Landa. Huge year. Monster year as well for a guy who had never won a GC before. I'm just relieved. That was a great season from him. Three wins, three wins, Paul Cudot and second on the Tour de France. Four wins, green jersey and the win on the Vuelta. Win on Paris with a stage and what a, what a way to win it. Third on Catalonia, second in the Dauphiné, second in Quebec, fifth in Montréal. Winner of the Mont Ventoux Denivelle Challenge. Not many wins as per, but just... A huge, huge season everywhere for Mikel Landa. Uh, it's going to be tough to like have his palmarès, especially with Mete Mohoric. Although it's a good season from the man who won Milano San Remo, who finished fourth of the Down Under with a stage win, two stages in Romandie, fourth of the Flesh World and seventh in San Sebastian, winning the KD Events Great Ocean Road Race, fifth uh, on both his national championships. That was a good year. Good season as well from Mete Mohoric. Uh, the former uh, U21, I believe, um, world champion, or I, I know he won like something maybe as, as a uh, prospect U21. I don't know U23. I don't know, but I know he won it. Uh, so fair play, the lad. Next up, Domen Novak, which will sign with Adria Mobile next season. Third place in Slovenia. That's about it. Mark Padden, disappointing year, but I agree. I may have like. R raced with him for about 116 days, so that might be my bad. Um, yeah, he started on the he started in San Juan already. Okay, great. 17 and down under win in Ukraine. Uh, two wins actually in Ukraine. Wins on the Tour of the Alps. Uh, that's it. But yeah, I've used him too much, and that's fully my bad. Next up, we have Herman Pernstein. A disappointing year from him. Very disappointing. Uh, he was good in January, and that's it. That's it. I was expecting more from a, a top 10 finish on the Vuelta. I'll have to uh, change his planning for next season. Maybe uh, another guy I kind of fucked alongside what Paul? Oh no, Luka Pevanek, who signed with Leopard, the national champion of Slovenia. We've, we're going to lose a national champion, but it's fine. I don't really mind. Uh, what Pools, as I said, which I may have fucked uh, this year because I just didn't do good enough. But... Um, 7th of the Amstel, 5th of the Croatian race, a stage win, and the Polkadot classification on Tirreno Adratico, looks at the 6th place in the GC, and that's it. We'll have to uh, to change that for next year. Uh, I really want work to do well. Marcel Seberg, retiring, 3 top 10s on the Vuelta, will wish him well as well for his uh, future endeavours. Dylan Turns, 9th of the Tour de France, and what a Tour de France from him. What a Tour de France from Dylan Turns. He was so... So crucial in me for Mikel Landa to, to get that second place in the GC. And yeah, I mean, he got the win. Um, I can't remember where. I think it might have been uh, after a mountain, in a mountain stage, like in a sprint. I, I won't be able to tell you where and when. But what a stage and what a win for the Lanterns that season. Um, he won the Amstel, finished fifth of the Flesh World and sixth in, of the Trade Bianche. No, it's, it, overall, it's an incredible year from Dylan Tunes, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad he's going to stay with us. I don't know if he's progressed at all. Nope, he's, not, he's done nothing. Um, 
but then we moved to Jan Tratnik, our only good time trialist before that season. Win on the Tula Bars country, the stage that always goes to a breakaway, and that's about it this year for him. Uh, Rafael Valls, 13th of the Tour of Oman, 4th of the Tour of Norway, uh, best climber on the Volta Catalunya, but that's it. Uh, to be fair, I mean, I don't really know if I can expect anything else now from uh, the former prospect of Futon Salvetto. We then move to Stephen Williams, which is the former to last rider. Uh, we've, renewed him. we've renewed his contract, actually. Uh, he's done shit all, but he progressed in mountain and he had a fitness peak during the Volta, which kind of like swayed me towards giving me contract. I don't know. Actually, he's, he might be a bit old now, so... I mean, old. He's not old, but you get what I mean. He's older, though, than Alfred Wright, who have left, uh, and he's going to enjoy riding for... Uh, N hashtag X09 semicolon Ribble Weld Tide Pro Cycling. I don't. He, he progressed slightly, but not enough. Uh, no stats above 70, and I'm sorry, but that's just not something we are looking for. So goodbye, Alfred Wright. Uh, days raced 119 for Mark Padden. The less, the least was Luca Pavanic with 39. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Let's take a look now at the results there was this year and we'll finish on the transfers. Grand Tour wise, Tom Dumoulin won the Giro ahead of Carapaz Caruso uh, in a very interesting final stage to time trial which kind of shocked everyone. Um, Enric Mas in second place, oh sorry, Enric Mas, best climber, my bad. Uh, Dominic Caruso wins the points jersey with Egan Bernal in white. Garin Thomas redeems the team Ineos with a win on the Tour de France ahead of Landa and Bourgman. Landa also wears the um, Paul Cotter jersey as Julien Lafilippe wins the points classification and Rob Power, in an interesting turn of events, becomes the white jersey of this 2010 Tour de France. And La Vuelta, Mikel Landa, after 10 years in the professional peloton, finally, finally wins a Grand Tour ahead of Tadej Pogosar and Simon Yates. And what a tour. What a Vuelta for Mikel Landa that year. He also wins the points classification. Samoman is going to win the poker jersey as Tade Pogosar will win the best uh, young rider. But I, it's just an incredible, incredible year for Mikel Landa, which we'll probably vote for in the um, Cyanide Trophy later on in that video. Tour is Garza Cortina won the Down Under. Landa won Paranis. Kedkowski won Tireno. Bernal won uh, Catalonia. Ala Philippe won it Sulia, Roglic won Romandie, Fulsang Dauphiné, we won the Tour de Suisse with Caruso, Masnada won the Tour of Pologne, and Wout Van Aert won the Bing Bong Tour, two races I had simulated. Uh, good, happy for, for Masnada, well done him, um, Wout Van Aert as well winning the Bing Bong Tour, that's, that's proper decent. Uh, we've won 3 out of 10, that's a 30% ratio, okay. Alright, it's a bit disappointing. World Championships. Caleb Ewan is the world champion and Zoran Kafanderson is the team is the time trial championship. Wait, isn't wasn't Omar Friday third? Did I get jumped on the line with Alberto Betiol? I can't really remember to be fair. But Caleb Ewan is the world champion for next season and Zoran Kafanderson in an interesting turn of events becomes uh well will be wearing the uh, rainbow jersey for uh, for the team Sunweb I believe. Yep, for the team Sunweb next year. How about Caleb Ewan? Let us do that as well. All right, no changes for them. National Championships. Uh, we'll just take a look at the biggest one. Morcao in Denmark, Yates in the UK, Demar in France, Bilbao in Spain, you've se uh, you see that. Moscon in Italy, Tim Merle in Belgium, Honewegen in the Netherlands, Greipel in Germany. Uh, ooh, we move already to the, to the monuments. Mathieu van der Poel won two monuments, winning Paris-Roubaix and Liège-Bastogne-Liège. -Liège. Uh, wow, okay. Mathieu Moritz wins San Remo, Wood Van Aert won the Ronde van Vlaanderen, and Julien Lafitte rounded up the season with a win on the Primavera ahead of Schachmann and Bauke Mollema. Two podiums hit, uh, on Schachmann for, uh, for, for Schachmann on these monuments. Uh, Schachmann, who we've signed for next season, so hopefully we can uh, have him on the first place of these monuments for next year. As we now have the other classics, Steuven won the E3 Bing Bong, Viviani won Gorbevel Game, Dylan Tunes won the Amstel, Schachmann won La Flèche Wallonne, Somehow, Marco Haller won San Sebastian. Viviani with another win in the uh, Eurize C Classics Hamburg. Pascal Ackerman won Bretagne Classic. Garza Cortina, yet again, won Quebec as Julien Lafilippe won Montreal. Uh, yeah, there's, there's one odd name in, in bang in the middle in Marco Haller, <laughs> but it's fine. Grand Tour wise, we've already seen that. Okay. Alright. Let's take a. You know what? Let's vote for. Uh, 
for the, the cyclist of the year. We're gonna go Mikel Landa first, then Damiano Caruso, Ivan Garza Cortina, Sonny Colbrelli, and we'll go with Caleb Ewan, because he's a sound guy. All right. Now, transfer market. I know there is this message with all the biggest transfers. We won't take a look at this one already. We're going to take a look at, first of all, our team for next season. And then we'll move on to the other World Tour teams and I'll see if, like, Conti Pro or Continental have pulled a madness for next year. All right, for next season, the team we will be having will be... I mean, we'll, we'll just take a look at who we've uh, added. We've added Carlos Barbero, 29-year-old, good in hills and in cobbles and basically everywhere. I think he's a, he's a nice signing and uh, adds to uh, the Spanish contingent of the team. Helping us on the cobbles will be Alberto Betiol. Uh, we've signed him for 65 grand a month. That's uh, solid. Joining us uh, for the time trial perspective of the team, Filippo Gana, the 24-year-old rider from Ineos. I just felt like we needed someone in the cobbles and um, I'm hoping that Filippo Gana can be that guy. Alex Lutsenko joins us, kind of like a Matej Mohoric um, type of rider. He's a gar he's a barrier who can win absolutely everywhere. Uh, so yeah, he's uh, he's definitely a fit I was looking for in the team to supplement um, Matej Mohoric. Matteo Muscati joins us as our sprinter to uh, I mean give some competition to Phil Barhaus. Uh, he'll be also in competition with Jakob Monizolo, the former sprinter of NTT, who joins us, and um, with Henok. Mulebran. Why did I take this guy already? Maybe because I wanted an Eritrean rider in the team. I don't, I don't remember. Uh, we'll then have three huge names. First of all, the biggest salary in the team, and by far, Thibaut Pino joins us. The 30 year old French rider, 82 mountains, 76 in hills. I mean, if there is no roundabout on the next Tour de France, this man will win it. You've heard it here first, and I know you've heard that Kevin Hitch will win the green jersey, but shut up. Thibaut Pino joins us, and as uh, another huge name joining us, Maximilian Schachmann. Uh, we needed someone to replace uh, Dylan Tunz, who left us. Schachmann was our go-to rider. Yeah, he's just too important to lose. And, um, sorry, too important to have a, a leader in that kind of uh, stats. 81 Hills, 78 time trial as well. He he could definitely be a crucial on a team time trial should there be one on a, on a Grand Tour. And finally, joining us in the, another Italian sprinter, Matteo Trentin, 31-year-old, help uh, can help on cobbles and in sprints. He's going to replace um, Heinrich Hausler, technically. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with our, our transfer window. There's two riders which we felt to get, Mauro Geiger, because he wanted too much, and Tony Galopin. Because I ended up going with uh, with someone else. Uh, but yeah, that's our team for next year. We'll see what that means uh, as we take a look at the teams. Starting with Ajax de la Mondiale. They had 29 riders, they now have 30, but they're in Continental Pro. Oh, wow. Ajax de Zer have been downgraded to Continental Pro. The, loss, the losses of Sylvain Dillier, Alexandre Genies, Mathias Franck, Lawrence Nazen, Larry Warbus and Axel de Mont have proved to be crucial for the, the French team based in the Alps, and they're done. Signing Kenny Edison, Dario Cataldo, Luke Rowe isn't going to help you. Oh, wow. Well, that's the first shock. Ajax de la Mondial are gone. Okay. Astana, they are 28 riders, they now have 29. They've signed Michael Matthews. Okay. Florian Seneschal, Davide Ballerini. Was he not ready at, at a, like Astana two years ago? Oh, no, he wasn't. Who's the... I swear there's an Italian rider. Oh, Martinelli. My bad. I, conf I have them too confused. Uh, Ruben Guerrero, Nikas Arndt, Corentin Hermano, Tom Scully, Marcus Garcia, and some other pricks. They have lost... Oh, they've lost big, though. They've lost Yonis Aguirre, Alex Lutsenko, Alex Aranburu, Omar Fraile, and Gorka Aguirre. And Fabio Fellini. Yeah, they've lost their riders that are really good all around. Uh, and they've replaced them with, I mean, Sinichal is a good cobble, Michael Matthews, Sprint cobbled. All right, sure. Interesting window from Astana, uh, whose best rider is still Jakob Fulisong from uh, next year. Bora Hansgrohe, they've lost big. I was aware of that. They had 27 riders, they now have 24. They have lost Pete Sagan to Lotto Soudal. Schachmann to ourselves, obviously. Patrick Conrad to CCC. Okay. Uh, Basken Burgart as well, some other names, Juraj Shagan to Vinny Zabu, 
Ok. They have signed David E. Formolo, Edward Tunes, and Valentin Madouas, and two old, two, two, two odd riders. Ok. It's definitely not an improvement for them. Uh, losing Schachmann, Maximian, uh, sorry, losing Schachmann and Sagan is definitely a huge blow. They haven't really replaced them. I mean, can you re can you really replace Pete Sagan? I don't think you can. Can you really replace Schachmann? You probably could. Maybe Formolo isn't the guy uh, to, to do so though. Um, but yeah, interesting window from Boransgo as we now move to CCC, who've just seen has signed Patrick Conrad. Uh, they are still in World Tour. They have lost big though. They did sign the two Germans that were good in time travel, Alois Stanger and Pete Puda. Uh, but they've lost Matteo Trentin, Ilnur Zakarin, Fausto Masnada, Michael Scher, and, and some other guys. And Francisco Ventoso is once again going to movie star. Are you fam? Are you dumb? What's your, what's your aim? Alright. Kofidis. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, they've lost Elia Viviane. Guillaume Martin and Christophe Laporte. And they've replaced them with Philippe Gilbert and Dylan Tunes. Okay. Ah, yeah, so that's, that's quite bad. That's quite bad. They have, the best printer is now going to be similarly concerning. Um, somehow they're still in World Tour. I mean, I guess they're in World Tour because of Philippe Gilbert and the points given by Dylan Tunes. Sure. Sure, interesting. But they have, yeah, sprinting-wise, they're now gone. Uh, I've misclicked. There we go. Next up, De Konank. They are still in Walsall. What a surprise. Who did they lose? They lost Bob Jungles to Israel. Oh my god, Israel are going to have Jungles in Les Polites. Oh. Oh no. Jodin Stibar has signed with EF, Seneschal and Ballerini. We had seen that previously. They have signed with Astana. Um, and they signed Chicone, Mart uh, Guillaume Martin, Ilno Zakarin, Fast de Masnada. Is there a focus on mountain being created in uh in the Konank. Okay. Sure, why not? EF. Oh. Okay. So EF has replaced Alberto Betiol with Nils Polit. They've replaced Sebastian Langeveld with Denek Stiba. Okay, I like that. I, I like that kind of transfer. I, that, okay, I can, I can get behind that. I can get behind that. Alright. Decent window from them. Uh, they've, they've lost big and they've replaced it with big names. Coffee, uh, no, FDG, I'm sorry, they've, they're, they're ruined. They've lost Thibaut Pinot and Valentin Malois. Yeah, they're done. Uh, Kevin Jeunet has left. Leo Vincent has left. They're, yeah, they're, they're finished. You may, I mean, you've signed Bauke Moloba and Jérôme Cousin and Romain Sicard. The year is in 2011. All right, they're finished. I'm really, really sorry, FDG, for having done that to you. I'm just glad you still have the likes of David Godu or Stefan Kung or Arne Demar. Molema will be uh, will be like able to win a few stages here and there or Paul Kodot Jersey, but the GC hopes are finished for FDG. Israel, as we've seen, they've lost Nils Poli. They've also lost Mats Wurtschmitz, who's going to join Colombia Tira de Atletas, which is the first really odd transfer. Uh, they've signed Jun uh, Jungels and Van D and uh, Langevelt, as we have seen that previously, and they've signed uh, Manuel Peñalver. Uh, all right. Okay, next up. Lotto Sudal. They've lost Gilbert, they've signed Peter Sagan. It's basically everything we need to remember from that. It's, yeah, it's basically it. Mitchelton Scott. Oh, odd window from them. They've lost Mesgetch, Durbridge, Mikel Nieve, Albazini and Rizites. And they stuck to sign only, uh, only Australians. Nathan Earl, Leif Howard, Scott Sunderland, Brendan Kante. Okay, interesting. Intre okay. Why not? I mean, that's going to give, give them uh, some uh, um, room to play for uh, with the transfers next year, because I think they'll have money. But okay, why not? Movistar. Oh. Oh, hello, Movistar. Uh, they've lost B-Tech Riders. Uh, I mean, they did lose Carlos Betancourt, so yeah, it's not exactly B-Tech. But they signed Dylan Ronevigan. Okay. Durbridge, Aaron Buru, Izagiri, Mikel Nieve. It's a good window from Movistar. It's a good window. Not exactly going back to how strong they used to be GC-wise. But it is a, it's an improvement. NTT. They have lost Jacob Nizzolo, Carlos Barbero, uh, and some other guys. They've signed Brian Kokar, Heinrich Hausler. I mean, numerically, it's replacing the two of them. 
Good window from them. Good window. We've signed actually. Uh, we've signed that two leaders. Oh wow. Sorry. Still in Walter for next year as well. NTT. As we move to Baron McLaren. I mean, you've, we'll just take a look at who we've lost. We have lost Dylan Tons to Cofidis, Batalin to Ineos, Heinrich Hausler to NTT, Kevin Esch to, uh, to end of career, Santiago Buitrago for Orgulo Paisa, Luca Pebanek to Leopard, Seberg end of career, Inkelar Metek, Domen Novak Adrian Mobile, Alfred Wright. We also uh, who we joined. Okay. Uh, and apparently I've improved. I've, I've improved a lot, actually, when you take a look at the, the, the diagram. It's not a diagram, it's a pentagon, but you see what I mean. We've done well, we just haven't improved in sprints. But everywhere else, we're, we're better. So it's a good window from them, from us. Ineos. Yeah. Yeah, they, they've lost Filippo Ganna, Luke Rowe, and Tauge Gennart. Uh, Wayne Dole as well, and Ben Swift. All right, they've lost a lot of their... Um, English riders. And they've signed Zandro Merissa, Gianluca Brambia, Enrico Batalin, uh, Johan Price Peterson, Peterson, I don't know, Michael Carbell, uh, Michael Carbell. Okay. Andrew Fenn going back to Sky. Sure. They haven't improved, uh, but then again, does Ineos really need to improve? I, I don't think I want to know what happens if they improve. Jumbo Visma, they've signed Elia Viviani after losing Kronovigan. They've signed Jens Sebol after losing Antoine Toluc. Overall, uh, I think they've lost. Sunweb, they've lost Michael Matthews, Nika Sant, and Joris Nivenus, and some other guys. They've signed Christophe Laporte, Antoine Toluc, Maurice Lamatink. Uh, I mean, Laporte isn't Michael Matthews, but could have been worse. It could have been worse for the team Sunweb. As we now move to Trek Sigafredo, who've lost Bauke Molema, Giulio Ciccone, and Gianluca Brambia. Alright, that's a big blow. It's a very big blow. And Edward Turns and Matteo Muscatzi. And they've signed Danny Van Poppel, Diego Ulissi, Teo Gunnart, Nicolo Bonifazio, and Martin Kaiser. I think they've lost. And by I think, I mean, they have lost. They have lost the transfer. UAE, they've signed, they've lost, sorry, Formolo, Ulissi, Ryabushenko, Molano. Is going to Medellin and Sergio Renao. Um, they've signed Yonis Aguirre, Nicolas de la Valle, Fabio Felline, and uh, Mark Nowak. Okay. Okay, sure. Alright, World Tour is finished. Let's now take a look. I mean, I'm going to take a look at Continental and see if there's anything kind of mad. I mean, yeah, we had all seen that transfer, but this one is the maddest one. Mads Wirtschmitz going to. Uh, Colombia tira de, uh, de atletas, I think. Okay. They're moving to Continental Pro. But uh, it's, a, it's a surprising transfer, to say the least. And Medellin making a nice move. They've lost Oscar Sevilla, because he's 45. Uh, and they've signed Juan Mol um, sorry, Sebastian Molano, Alan Banacek, Winner Anaconda, Darwin and Tapuma, Rodrigo Contreras. It's a good window from a team who just got promoted to Continental Pro. Well done, Medellin. Right, we're just gonna end this uh, this episode with the teams that got promoted and uh, the one that went down. Alpecin Phoenix is the team promoted into con into uh, World Tour, which I think means that Ajax Dozer is the one that went down and they're the only one. W52 Porto went up with Medellin, Colombia Tira de Atletas, Elk of Casper, and Leopard. Okay. Do I really want to see who went down? Sure. Bargiani is now in Continental, Vinizabu Continental, Burgos Continental, Rally. Continental and Novo Nord is Continental. The Giro just lost Bargiani and Vinizabu. Well then, that'll be interesting. Um, but I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed this season one of Baron McLaren. Uh, I don't know how it's gonna fit in my calendar, in my schedule to make season two. I, I genuinely don't know. Uh, we're gonna have to rush through the season and. Yeah, it's it's kind of sad, but we have to. We just have to. Uh, as I said, I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, then please do leave a like down below. That would really mean a lot to me. Uh, also, if you're new around here, then consider subscribing to the channel. And I shall see you in the very near future. I have been Black Hole. Stay safe and goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm bleeding. All them other man need feeding. I don't want to go bombi. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. In the pack in black and I'm on with the bass Snapping with a phone and dab I'll stop a man with a duster Put him in a drip and sip blockbuster